Lately, a lot of people have been asking me, Hey, yo, elbow, 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 elbow. Yeah, yeah, you. Hey, bro, how would I go about bringing stems, more or less backing tracks, into the Akai Force, tracking it out, and using them inside of the arranger? How, how could I do that? That's a fair question, I guess. Um... Let's see if we can get it done. Elbow Media Studio. Yo, what's going on, everybody, man? It's your boy Marcus Elbow from ElbowMediaStudios.com. Welcome to the Elbow Media Studios YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, this whole thing about bringing the stems into the force, uh, I don't know. I guess I've never thought about doing this because I'm usually stemming out instead of stemming in. But, you know, I've been asked about this, so I figured why not give it a shot? So let's take a look and see what it would take for us to be able to do this. And just so we're clear, uh, the subscriber asked me how to bring stems in as if you had stems sent to you by someone and you want to mix them or uh, you wanted to record over them. Let's just say you was doing some mixtape stuff and you just had a beat. You want to bring the beat in and then record over the beat with vocals or whatever. Uh, this is the process you would most likely use. So let's look into it and see what we can do. All right, here we go. So um, I believe that there is a couple of ways you can do this. I think that it depends on how many stems you have. If you're coming in with a master track and you only have two uh, tracks or you just have one track that's a master and it's a beat and someone sent it to you and you want to rap over it sing over it whatever you want to do then i would recommend it i would recommend doing it uh you know the audio way so the way you would do that is you would just create an audio track and then you would just load up the track that you have let's just say if it's this track for instance i would hit load and then when i go back to the matrix i push uh launch it's gonna launch it if i go into the matrix here uh i'm sorry if i go into the arranger then i can easily start recording those tracks and vocals or i could just lay the track first by just holding down shift hitting record and then hitting play and as you can see here we're starting to lay down the track okay and if i just push stop here as you can see there the track has already been laid here uh so yeah that would not be the way i would do it because i just don't want to bog my system down with a bunch of wave files i would do it different and let me show you the way i would do that i'm gonna go ahead on and clear this out okay and then i'm just gonna hop back into the matrix i'm gonna go ahead and delete this audio track and then i'm going to create because remember we have the stems right i have 10 stems what i'm gonna do is i'm going to create a drum track this is just the way that i do it if, if somebody else knows a better way get down in the comments and let me know but this is the way i would do it to keep the system not so taxed you know what i mean all right so what i would do is first of all you want to make sure you hold down knobs and hit your screen button you remember i told you all about that that way you can see what's going on here turn your time correct off and then you may want to set your tempo to whatever the uh stems are it's not really necessary but just do it just to, for the sake of having everything locked in now what i would do is i would hit my note key to make sure that i'm on the note section then i would go in and i would just start loading each track into that drum kit and then i would have them all there so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna highlight the first pad and then i'm gonna hit load okay now that we have that first pad loaded i'm just gonna move on to the next pad and i'm gonna hit load again and then i'm gonna move to the next one and i'm gonna load again now all i'm doing is i'm just loading up my stems here i'm gonna go to four i'm gonna load that up i'm gonna go to five i'm gonna load that up i'm gonna go to six load that up seven so forth and so on eight here nine here and then 10 is going to be here all right and where my stems are coming from they're just coming from my sd card all i did was took the stems that somebody sent me but this is big baby's beat one of the best tracks i've ever heard because i love this track um i just took that i loaded my sd card in i know which folder it was in and then i'm just loading the wave files onto pads 
and I just loaded it to 10 pads. So let's go back to the matrix, right? Now what I want to do is I know that this arrangement, right, is 72 bars. So I'm just going to hit clip. Uh, let's see here. And then I'm going to create. I'm just going to click in and I'm going to go 72 bars because I know that's what it is. Now you're asking yourself, why are you, what, what you doing there? But okay, so now that I have this track ready to go, right? I got all my stems on there. I got the clip already ready to go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down copy and I'm, I'm going to create essentially nine more tracks. So I'm just going to hold copy. I'm going to copy the first track. I'm going to hit two, three. Let me make sure that copy is held. I'm going to hit copy. I'm going to hit one, two. Essentially, I'm just going to create nine tracks here. I'm going to hit over on my arrow twice, but well, one time, and then I'm going to hit it again. All right. Now I have, essentially, I have 10 tracks that I'm going to add the stems to, right? Now the stems are just wave files. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to make sure my number one track is armed, as you can see here, and then I'm just going to hit record and I'm going to start playing them, right? One by one, right? It's going to be a little tedious, but this is what you got to do to do this. All right, that's the first one. Now I'm just going to go to the next track, hit record. All I'm doing is triggering the stems. That's it. I'm on number three. Let's go to the next one. Number four. All I'm doing is triggering it right when the beat starts. Okay, I'm just going to the next one. Go on to the next one. This is going to be number six. All right, number seven. All right, that's number seven. Let's go to eight. I'm going to highlight eight. Hit record. All right, I'm going to go to nine, which is ten. All right. All right, now I'm going to go to the mixer and watch what happens. Let's go. It's going to need a little mix, but let's listen to it. tracks right there now I can go in and change the colors if I want but everything is here and there wasn't anything complicated about this all I did was essentially I'm, I'm just putting samples just like if I had a sample and I put a sample in I'm just triggering them all in the beginning of the uh, of the bars that way it'll play all the way through now I can go in here and, and mix it up let's just go in here and mix them I'm just gonna do it real quick I'm not gonna show you guys but I'm gonna show you what you can do to clean this up real quick all right so what I did was I went in I went in and I named all of my tracks and then I just went in and I did a, a little basic mix to clean everything up let's listen to it All my tracks are here. All I did was I went in and I just cleaned it up, did a, a basic little mix, really just some st uh, uh, stage gain and a gain stage and whatever the hell you want to call it. And this is what I got. Now you're thinking, okay, cool. All right. All right. That seems cool, right? Now, the only thing that to me is not going to make you feel like it's really a DAW, right, is when you get ready to go into the menu and then you go to arrangement. You're just not going to be able to see those wave files being represented. You know what I mean? Now, if you start recording vocals or you start working on the beat and adding some stuff to it, you'll be able to see that. But since we're only triggering uh, the sample, you're just not going to be able to see it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If you hold shift and hit record, okay, and then you go ahead on and hit play, you're not going to be able to see anything. 
But I guarantee you, something is there. stuff in here it would be there you know what i mean so then you know you push play and you'll be able to go in and record vocals and do everything you want to do it just again it, you won't be able to see it this is how i would do it i would stay away from just trying to put all your stems on audio tracks it seems a little wonky a little squirrely i just would not do it that way i would do it this way if you just had to do it um if not then just that's not even import stems into the forest, right? Unless you're going to do two track and it's just going to be a beat or something you just want to rap over. Then you can use an audio track and it could be 72 bars and you can go to flowing over to singing over, doing whatever you want to do over it or even just add to the beat and then send it back to whoever you want to send it to. That would be the easiest way. So just in conclusion, I would only do this with an audio track if I only had one master track. If I had multiple tracks, I would actually use them like samples and do it the way that I just showed you. That's the way I would do it. Okay. So anyway, listen, man, this has been your boy, Mark Gazelle, both from MelbourneMediaStudios.com. Listen, if you want to go pick up the forest, man, I got some links in the description for you to go to Zounds. Go holler at Zounds, man. Let them, let them take care of you, bro. They got 12 months, 18 months, uh, no interest, whatever. Uh, so you'll be able to just play You'll be able to pay as you play Or play as you pay Or whatever However you want to do it You want to pick your force up And if you want to see What type of gear I got I'm going to have a link down there um, A list of all Some of the gear that I use here uh, In Elbow Media Studio So by clicking on that link You know what I'm saying You help out the channel So if you want to support us That's the easiest way to do it It won't cost you a dime bro it will not cost you a dime. So if you want to take care of us and look out for us, man, go ahead on and do that. I would definitely appreciate that. And listen, I will catch you in the next video. I hope that, you know, this is what you were looking for. That old lucky subscriber out there that asked me to do a video on this. And, and here you go. All right. All right man, I'm going to catch you all later. man. I got work to do. All right. One. Peace. I'm out.